This is Eric with Astrology for Awakening. And in this series of conversations, we look at the different astrological weather, the aspects of the day, the in planetary ingresses as planets move into different signs. And we look at them as invitations for awakening, not uh, predictions about what could or couldn't happen to me, to me, to me, me. It's not about me. It's about opening into the soul and opening into the deeper purpose of this life. The astrology reflects the cycles of our experience and all of those experiences have meaning. They're not just random events. They're cyclical invitations again and again for us to tune into the deeper purpose of this life in a very specific way for you. Now, for all of us, Jupiter is moving into Aries this week, and it's moving out of the home of Pisces, where it's been floating for about a year on the amniotic fluids of vastness, of peace, of dreamland. It's moving into this new Aryan territory of the uncharted wild, potentially threatening, but definitely beckoning uh, immediacy of the adventure that's calling. When Jupiter is in Pisces, we're basking in a world that has very blurred lines. It's that soft focus. It's that everything can be anything. And that is so blissful. We can let go. We can rest in the mystery. That's the invitation of Jupiter in Pisces to more and more trust in opening endlessly to mystery. Aries brings a different quality, a different perspective, and it's this. Aries is not blurry, it's sharply focused. It's, Aries is like how our vision gets when we're walking through the forest or something, and there's like a little rustling in the bushes, boom, hyper-focused, laser-focused. Even if what appears to be a snake in the road turns out to be a rope, for the mo that moment of clarity, we are all in. And that's what Aries is asking of us. So this is a one year sojourn that kicks off, in a sense, a new cycle of exploration of Jupiter, of the meaning of our life and how we can embody deeper meaning in our lives. It's the invitation to trust life. Jupiter is always asking us trust life and expand the horizon of your awareness. Expand your beliefs, your worldviews. Expand your conception of what's possible. And now it's in the, the fire of the ram in Aries. Jupiter gets that motivation to just do it, to throw out all the maps. There are no maps. We're starting a new cycle and put the pedal to the metal. Start the adventure. Start the adventure. We're on the road again. And so there's this kind of feeling, this inspired and, and energized quality to the ingress as, as uh, Jupiter moves into um, Aries. I, it's a carpe diem kind of vibe. It's a seize the day vibe, which brings to mind, of course, the Dead Poets Society and that amazing role that Robin Williams played as the inspired teacher the teacher, Jupiter, inviting them, trust life, open up. And fiery he was in the classroom, inspiring the students to open their minds, their hearts, to open their lives, to go on an impassioned adventure that would take them beyond, beyond the socially constructed, constraining, acceptable framework that they were being conditioned to believe in. This is, our, this is all of our stories. In the film, he says, the character says, there's a time for daring and there's a time for caution. And the wise one understands which one is called for. Well, when Jupiter moves into Aries, what's called for is daring. It's the season for daring. And we have a year to explore what that means because always, with Jupiter and Aries, it's a call for daring. And there's a little asterisk, a little cautionary addendum that says, don't be reckless. So there's a discernment process, a discernment to uh, distinguish 
the call of the souls to adventure. That is the initiation of the hero's journey as and the heroine's journey as Joseph Campbell uh, articulated it and mapped it out. There's a call to adventure, Jupiter and Aries, that begins the next 12 year cycle. And we wanna distinguish that from the call of the ego that pumps us up with sort of uh, adrenaline that gives us a little rebel without a cause vibe, like I'll show them. We want to distinguish the hero's call from the alluring promise of the culture of conditioning that says, come this way and you'll get all the goodies, all the applause, all the likes. It's e easy. If we know anything about the hero's journey, it's not easy. And it needs to be started with a certain kind of naivete, which is quality of Aries, just the capacity to believe in the possibility. And one of the keys for us as we make this discernment is to become a student of the trembling in our belly. There is a trembling in the belly when we step out onto the adventure. It's an embodied feeling and there's a difference between the fear of the ego saying, I'm a, I don't wanna go that way, it's uncertain. That's different from the trembling of the soul that knows there's a risk and it's a risk that is calling. It's what the poet Mark Nepo in his book calls the exquisite risk. It's exquisite, it's beautiful and it's exquisitely designed for you. It calls you and dares you, and it dares each of us in our own unique, a dharmic way to, to live a more authentic life. So it's not a marketing promise of riches and greatness, and it's not a seven-step plan for highly successful people. It's a call that trembles in your being, in the gut of your being, that challenges you to step beyond, challenges me, challenges us to step beyond our emotional programs, our conditioned emotional programs for seeking security, approval, and power. We all have them. And this is scary to the ego. Yeah, it's exquisitely scary because it will exquisitely take us out of the path that undermines our authentic nature. And that's what sacred daring is about. It's the path of the call to adventure. If the path looks safe, if the path looks certain, if the steps are clear, if it's all secure, it's not a Jupiter and Aries move. This is the season the year for finding your inner uh, trailblazer and listening and attuning to and cultivating a uh, intimacy with your exquisite risk to open your heart to the vision that will stretch your soul and call you more wholeheartedly into your authentic life. It doesn't mean it's grandiose. This is super important. It means it's wholehearted. It means it's authentic. It could be um, doing something that will literally never be seen by the public, that will not garner applause of any kind. It may mean having a difficult conversation, difficult and supremely loving conversation with someone in your life, with yourself, for sure. It could be forgiving someone, maybe even you. It could be making amends for your own blunders of the past. Nothing um, for social approval. It's not about that. It's about taking the exquisite risk that feeds and deepens your soul so again, the caution, not a rebel without a cause. No, because there is with Jupiter, there's always 
a cause. There's something worthy of the soul. There's a worthy quest of authenticity. And in those, there are principles, soul deep values that are asking us to live more fully and to enter into the very conditions that challenge us to live those deep principles and soul deep values. That's Jupiter in Aries having fidelity to your soul's deepest principles and doing that in a complex and deeply flawed world made up of complex and deeply flawed people like me, like you. That's the call and that is the challenge. This is the season to open to that challenge. Again, not with bravado but with a wholehearted and open-minded sense of care so that we don't storm the ramparts, but we step forward with presence, with wholeheartedness, step by step. And we allow ourselves to feel the textures of our own conditioning, of our own trembling. And we let go of the ego's fear of death, and we turn towards the soul's trembling as it opens step by step. Remember Mary Oliver in her poem, beautifully titled for this Jupiter into Aries called The Journey. The Journey, one day you finally knew what you had to do, oh, and you began Jupiter and Aries even though the voices around you kept shouting their bad advice. Though the whole house began to tremble and you felt the old tug at your ankles, those old programs for happiness, for safety. Mend my life, each voice cried, but you didn't stop, Jupiter and Aries, you didn't stop. You knew what you had to do. Though the wind pried with stiff fingers at the very foundations, Though their melancholy was terrible, it was already late. It was already late enough and a wild night. It's definitely wild. And the road was full of fallen branches and stones. But little by little, as you left their voices behind, the stars began to burn through the sheets of clouds. And there was a new voice that you slowly recognized as your own that kept you company. The soul is your company. As you strode deeper and deeper into the world, this journey into your soul takes you deeper into the world. As you strode deeper and deeper into the world, determined to do the only thing you could do. That Aries is determination. Determined to do the only thing you could do. Determined to save the only life you could save. And remember, as the Buddha woke up under the bow tree, with, it, with my awakening, the whole universe awakens. The only life you can save, Jupiter in, in Aries is telling you, oh, it's a big challenge. The exquisite risk to truly follow your authenticity is a blessing to all beings.